Welcome to RK Varshaki Online Classes. In this class, I am going to explain you how to calculate working capital ratio and non-cash working capital ratio using a real company's original balance sheet. The working capital ratio explains uh, whether the company has the capability to meet its short-term obligations. That means whether their current assets are sufficient to meet its current uh, obligations. So the working capital is estimated as current assets minus current liabilities whereas a non-cash working capital working capital is estimated as inventories plus trade receivables or receivables minus payables while calculating non-cash working capital we exclude all cash cash equivalents and bank balances investments similarly from a liability side we exclude all the loans which have been interest bearing and other obligations so uh, the non-cash working capital will be investments plus receivables minus payables. Now to estimate this uh, working capital and non-cash working capital, I source the balance sheet of ITC Limited. So ITC is a tobacco manufacturing company in the country, which was also has a conglomerate uh, one, which uh, is expanded into different uh, businesses like uh, newspapers and food and uh, other areas. So uh, this balance sheet is uh, as at 31st March 2020 which has the values for the two years that is uh, 31st March 2019 and uh, 31st March 2020 and all the amounts are in rupees crores. Now if you observe here so first we calculate the uh, current assets so here you have a current assets already given here here we have total current assets this is one and uh, this is the another one and where is the current liabilities so here we have a total of current liabilities and uh, total of current liabilities. So using these values, first we calculate the working capital for the years 2019 and uh, 2020. So working capital is current assets minus uh, current liabilities. So 2958.96 minus 9621.56. Here 19,947 crore of our working capital is available with the TCS during sorry ITC during the year 2019 and in uh, 2020 say so this is uh, 36506.91 minus 9089.41 so 27,417.5 so by looking at these two numbers, we can easily say that the company that is the ITC has abundant of a working capital. That means its current assets are much higher than a current liabilities. Now to get the non-cash working capital, so in case of a non-cash working capital, what is it we need is inventories. Here uh, we have inventories this plus trade receivables and minus trade payables so total of a trade uh, payables here we have two trade payables so some of these two trade payables is your total so you are also same your uh, inventories then uh, trade receivables and total of trade payables so uh, well calculated here so for the year uh, 2019 7587.24 this plus 3646.22 then minus 54.32 minus 3313.96 so this gives you 7865 so 7865.18 crore is these all these amounts are in rupees crores so 7865.18 crore is the non-cash working capital of itc limited for the year 2019 similarly for 2020 this is uh, 8038.07 plus 2092 minus 34.67 point zero seven so six thousand six hundred this is six thousand six hundred eighty three point 
थ्री थ्री क्रोर इज द नॉन कैश वर्किंग कैपिटल विच इज अवेलेबल फॉर द आई टी सी लिमिटेड इन द बोथ द ईयर्स इफ यू ऑब्जर्व द आई टी सी लिमिटेड हैज अ वेरी गुड अमाउंट ऑफ अ वर्किंग कैपिटल एज वेल एज नॉन कैश वर्किंग कैपिटल ऑल्सो दिस टू इंडिकेट्स द फाइनेंशियल स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ अ कंपनी दैट इज देयर करेंट एसेट्स आर मच हायर दैन द करेंट लाइबिलिटीज सिमिलरली नॉन कैश करेंट एसेट्स आर मच हायर दैन नॉन कैश करंट लाइबिलिटीज सो दिस इज अ क्लियर इंडिकेशन ऑफ फाइनेंशियल स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ अ आई टी सी लिमिटेड दिस इज हाउ यू नीड टू कैलकुलेट एंड इंटरप्रेट द वर्किंग कैपिटल एंड नॉन कैश वर्किंग कैपिटल ऑफ अ कंपनी थैंक यू थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग द लेक्चर